Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we are here with the very first episode of our Aquatic Dome Zoo. I don't really have a zoo name for it just yet. Uh, if you guys have any cool suggestions, do let me know in the comment section down below. Something with aquatic or, yeah, something that does really refer to a dome with aquatic animals. Something that makes sense, so do let me know if you have any suggestions for that. So we are starting off with not the dome building itself because the dome is actually not really finished yet and the penguin habitat was so long that I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to start with the habitat for the penguins itself and along the way I'm probably going to record bits and pieces of how I'm going to fill the dome with different areas that are not really belonging to the habitats but more of like restaurants or just like detailing of areas so I think I'm just going to save all those bits and pieces of recordings together with like the entrance which I'm going to detail in the future of the dome itself so I think I'm just going to save all of that for the last episode so now we can enjoy the habitat build itself and if you have seen the previous episode, you already know that I'm super excited and super hyped about sharing this with you guys because it's definitely one of my most favorite and exciting habitats I've ever built in Planet Zoo. I'm super proud of it, so I really do hope that you guys enjoy it as much as I did enjoy building this habitat. So for this habitat, I got three different areas of inspiration. And the first thing was the lights in my giant otter habitat. So if you have not seen that episode yet, it, I just recently uploaded it to the channel. And it has an underwater viewing gallery with just some simple two lights. But because of those two lights, I realized that something has changed in the game regarding indoor lights. And I'm not really sure if it happened with this new update or that it happened earlier, but I just never really played around with those lights. Like you remember the first time they changed it, like really were like, yeah, from now on, from this update, you can use lights indoors. And I was like, using those lights, I was like, there's nothing really happening except for like the bulb itself lighting up a little bit but it didn't really feel like i really turned on lights like you would do so yeah after that i just never used any of the ingoing lights indoors because i really felt like nope <laughs> it doesn't do anything for me so yeah that was the first time i was like oh my god okay if this is really the new lights in game then i definitely need to do something indoors and that is where the idea started of the aquatic dome and to make a new zoo, which I really didn't want to. I didn't want to create a new zoo, but that was the point when I was like, well, F it, I am going to do it anyways. <laughs> so the other thing that really gave me inspiration for this was a video that was recommended to me on YouTube, which was the penguin habitat of the Detroit Zoo. And that one looked so amazing that I was like, okay, now I really know how I want to start my aquatic dome. Like, obviously, we don't have that many aquatic animals in Planet Zoo. And I feel like this could be more of like an aquatic animals and aquarium dome. So I'm not really sure yet how I'm going to continue with this series. If you guys have any ideas or suggestions, definitely do let me know. I'm obviously going to add the sea lions as well into the dome and probably the polar bear. And uh, yeah, I think we need to see how we want to do it. Like I maybe want to go for some more implied habitats as well. Because, I don't know, I just really feel like in the vibe of like building aquariums, building more aquatic habitats, maybe for like in the future that we can add more sea lions and penguins if we ever get them, something like that. I'm not really sure. If you guys have any cool ideas or suggestions, definitely do let me know in the comment section down below what kind of animals we could build habitats for. So the other thing that gave me inspiration for this habitat was the in-game blueprint of the penguins. Or at least, well, it's not really, it's just a blueprint with the new rock set we got in the game. And Frontier made that one preset. And it looks just really awesome with like cool little nests in some corners. And the use of the rocks that just really inspired me. You will see me putting it down somewhere in this video. And I just really like to use that one as inspiration as well for this build. So yeah, a combination of three different things, the lights, the Detroit Zoo, and the in-game blueprint were the inspiration of this particular habitat and the start of the aquatic dome. 
So in short, what we're going to do with this habitat, we're going to build a penguin habitat. And this one will also have an underwater viewing gallery. And this one will also have an underwater tunnel. So that is really exciting. That is the first underwater tunnel we are seeing on the channel. And um, I will talk about that a little bit more later on in this video. So for everyone that is asking me, like, can you maybe upload things in slow mode? This is definitely an example that I built a lot of on a live stream or not one live stream, but in three live streams, I think 90% of this build, including the underwater tunnel, by the way, is recorded during my live streams on Twitch. So if you want to see me building live and in slow mode, definitely recommend you to go to my Twitch channel and follow me there and uh, check out one of my live streams. And if you want to just skip through videos, I also upload them to my Twitch archive on YouTube. So I will link that one in the description down below. All three live streams where I built this habitat are all up on that channel right now. So you can find whatever you are looking for if you want to see it in slow mode and uh, check it out there so these are definitely harder builds because this comes along with different layers so the biggest issue is with the path sections in the game so the path can be a struggle and uh, I'm luckily very used to it and I have a lot of patience I guess so whenever it doesn't really go that well I will just continue to make it work at some point or just create workarounds for myself. So I'm not really bothered about it because I am used to it for like four and a half years right now. So yeah, uh, but I chose to make it this difficult. There is also a way to just have path without any terrain underneath it, but I chose to have path with terrain underneath it so I could hide away the curbs and I can hide away the path in a later stage with like concrete or plaster pieces or anything. I really wanted to have that vibe. So I chose the hard way. So sometimes I have issues with putting down the path because it's it says that the terrain is not flat enough or anything like that. So yeah, I need to make a lot of workarounds to make this all work. And also like, for example, the stairs or like the sloped path going towards the layer underneath it uh, that one is way further than I wanted it to be but that's also because I chose to have the path on terrain and not just floating and hiding it away in a later stage so yeah it's all me to blame for the struggles that I have with the path section but I do like that challenge and uh, I'm okay with that because else I wouldn't have done it so first what you need to do with making these kind of habitats is to make sure that your water section is on the right spot and it is kind of the, the right size you want it to be and also the right height if you want to know how to have the exact right height for your aquatic animals with underwater viewing galleries and also using the underwater feeder i highly recommend you to watch the how to build underwater viewings tutorials for aquatic animal that I uploaded to the channel. I say tutorials, but it's just one tutorial. <laughs> but I also have another basic underwater viewing tutorial on the channel as well. If you're having a hard time with that, I highly recommend you to also watch that one because the aquatic one is definitely in addition to the normal underwater viewing gallery tutorial. So I highly recommend to watch both of them and there are some tips and tricks of how to create these underwater viewings with aquatic animals because it's just amazing to build underwater viewing galleries for them and underwater sections like with tunnels and I don't know, I just really do love that. But yeah, make sure that your water is on the right spot, especially when you put down the path later on, you will sometimes have the issue that you will remove the water later on and then you're not able to put it back whatever you try so yeah the most important thing for me when i build habitats in planet zoo is to make sure that my water is on the right spot where i want it to be and to make sure that all the angles and all the edges are how i want it to be and then i make sure that my path is on the right spot so i don't have that many issues with it anymore and if there will come a moment that I'm not able to remove the water anymore, then I just know that I won't get like in super big trouble or anything like that. So yeah, that's definitely a tip of mine. Make sure that your water size is already on point, then add your water and make sure that whatever happens, you already have the right size of your habitat. So you don't have to change anything anymore once you get these issues when you cannot add back the water anymore. Because especially with these type of layers, the issue sometimes happens that when you start to remove your path, like, okay, if I just remove this path, I can put back the water in and then you are not able to put back the 
path anymore. So yeah, there are definitely things that you really need to keep in mind with these type of builds. And for those that are wondering, I'm not going to upload this habitat to the workshop because it's going to be a pain in the butt for everyone to put this one down with the past, as I just said, and the water section. So no, I really avoid uploading habitats that are just going to be a pain in the uh, pain in the butt <laughs> for everyone to put down. It's just not easy as the blueprint you see in the um, in the base game or anything like that so yeah so what is really cool about building these kind of habitats indoors is that the water is super clear i know a lot of people were commenting on my gray seal habitat like oh i don't like it like the water is so unclear and it's so unrealistic or you can't really see through it but the thing is it actually makes total sense like i feel like the weather uh, or like just the natural light is really affecting the water of your habitat. I don't really know if there is a difference between the water colors per biome. That could definitely be. This one is, I think, the Tega or Tundra biome. I think it's a Tega biome. But yeah, maybe the water color is a little bit different also because of the biome. But you can definitely tell if you don't have sunlight in your habitat, like this habitat, the water looks extremely clear when you look inside of the habitat from the underwater viewing gallery. So that is really, really cool and definitely a reason, again, to build some kind of aquatic dome for your animals because it's such an amazing experience. And also, I just feel like... For some reason, it just ma makes sense to me. Like a lot of habitats you see in real zoos are made with like real natural water and not really like swimming pool water. Like swimming pool water, to, to put it that way, <laughs> like obviously you should not swim in it, but you know what I mean, right? Swimming pool water is more clear, but more natural water just has this, I don't know how to call it, like fogginess or like algae and stuff in it so yeah it makes total sense for me that it's not that clear and now seeing this indoor habitat being like way more clear it just looks super amazing i really really recommend you to start building indoor habitats right now because the cool thing is i don't know if i mentioned it in this video i think i spoke about it in the last giant otter habitat video that this whole dome as you may know me i always built domes with like super big glassy roofs so the sunlight can come in and we also have annoying shadows and those kind of things but this dome is completely closed there are a few small little windows on the sides but you will not see them bringing in any sunlight in this building so what I really wanted to do as I sat with like the lights and the giant otter habits had making such a difference nowadays uh, with indoor sections, I really want to play with lights in this game and lights in this zoo, particularly in this dome, because it looks absolutely amazing. I really, really love it. We have been playing around with them during the live streams and it made such a difference. So you will obviously see me putting down the lights at the end of this video and in the cinematic shots as well. So you can see the difference, but most of this video is recorded without any lights. So you can, you can definitely tell the difference at the end of this video. And it's just so much fun to play around with those lights and makes it so realistic and so amazing. I really do like it. So yeah, another reason for everyone to start building indoor habitats without any glassy roofs. Just close it off and just play around with these awesome lights in your habitats because it looks absolutely amazing. I really can't wait already to start the seal habitat because the gray seal habitat is going to be more thematic. Like if you have seen my other gray seal habitat build, that one is really natural. And I already mentioned in that video, like cities who didn't really fit like to create some kind of thematic habitat for it. But I really want to go crazy in this dome and I really want to go for some kind of harbor feeling and uh, I think it's going to be super amazing. I really look forward to start building that one. Uh, but yeah, okay, back to the king penguin habitat. As I said, we are making an underwater tunnel. Now the underwater tunnel is not in this speed build video, but you can definitely see that back in slow mode in my live streams, as I mentioned. And um, it's it's really glitchy. Like that is the reason why I never really use it in any builds, like we are able to make underwater tunnels, I think since launch, and a few YouTubers did that, uh, but <laughs> it's really wonky and it's really, really 
yeah, glitchy. It's it's not really the best way to build path, and uh, it's it's definitely not meant to be. It may be something that Frontier is still working on to try and make it perfect before they really make it something official. Uh, but so far, no, it's it's <laughs> you need to hide away a lot of like weird edges, weird curves and stuff because it looks really wonky. <laughs> and still, if you like go a little bit higher on the path, you will sometimes be standing inside the water. So yeah, it's definitely not meant to be this way, but for these penguin habitats or, or like maybe we also will will create more of them because I am just really enjoying this and the look of it. It looks just amazing to see the king penguins just swimming over your head with the underwater tunnel. So yeah, it's it's definitely super cool. And uh, Esa, if you want to see how I did it, I highly recommend you watch that live stream back. I will link it all in the description down below so you can uh, you can find it back and hopefully you can uh, learn a thing or two from it when you see me doing that during a live stream. Also, for those of you that are looking for any rock colors that I'm using, I uh, had a few people asking me also with the giant otter habitat, like, hey, can you maybe send the uh, color scheme of the brown color that you use for the new rock set? for the combination with like the tropical rocks and the tropical mossy rocks. So uh, we decided to create a pinned post in my Planet Zoo channel in my Discord server. So if you ever are looking for a color that I'm using, there is also the gray color of this habitat and the white color, but I think the white color is just white, white, just the normal white ones. But yeah, if you ever are looking for those colors, I will try to uh, update that list as much as possible so you guys can always find it in my Discord server. You never have to ask for it every time I use a different color of it. So as you maybe can tell, we are using a lot of these small steps in this build, but I absolutely love these small rocks. I cannot help myself. It was just so much fun to build different elevations for the penguins and that they are able to use them. So it's super cool. I even saw some penguins sliding down from it from one side to the other side. I don't know if that was the intention, but it was actually quite funny to see. And uh, but the thing with the nest was actually quite funny because at some point I did not see any penguins using those nests. And I was like, well, I don't know. And someone in my chat, he mentioned like, are they actually able to use that? I mean, we have the jetty beddings right now with the aquatic pack. So maybe they're not even able to use that. So we were like, hmm, that's actually a good point. But hiding away jetty beddings definitely doesn't look well. And then at some point, thank God, they started to use the hay beddings as nests. Well, not really as nests, of course, but we pretend they are using it as nests because that is something, uh, yeah, just really cool. I'm not really sure if these penguins do really create nests like other penguins do. So do tell me in the comment section down below if that is the case or not. I kind of remember something that they don't really create nests. They're also not really like staying with the same mate every year like you see with some other penguins and they do like like switch taking care of their chick every week or every two weeks or something like so one goes out to hunt and to gather food and then the other one uh stays with the chick and takes care of the chick and and they they rotate that i'm not really sure if they really make nests like you sometimes see penguins do but do tell me in the comments down below if you know more about that but yeah it's it's in the end it's just super fun to see some kind of nest in this game and uh, i don't know it just feels super cute to me uh, to have some penguins sleeping on it as if they're a nest so yeah we just pretend like that is the case even though it might not be a thing for king penguins so yeah, what is also really cool from the aquatic pack is that we now have like these mural wall pieces. I'm not really sure if I pronounced that right or that if that is the right name for them, but they actually work really well with the backside. I had someone in my chat also saying like the green version you also have in the pack that also works really well for like underwater viewing galleries for the backside, which is actually a really cool idea and didn't really think of that. But yeah, I, I don't know. They really feel super cool to me. I do wish there were a few more variations in it. There are only two variations, one big one with water and the other ones are all the same copy pasted one with the snow background. Uh, it would be nice to have a few more variations of them. And uh, I'm going to be honest here. Uh, I noticed myself the last three videos that I talk about this. I have a lot of those those things during this pack. Like with the rock set, I would like to see a little bit more variations with it. The mural wall set, I'd like to see a little bit more variations of it. I don't know, for some reason I um I feel like some things could have been a little bit more 
variations, I guess. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Do let me know in the comment section down below. I never really have that with other packs. I do notice that. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there are just some items missing or maybe I'm just nitpicking as always. <laughs> So as I said, like the lights at the end of this video, it's definitely making a difference. I'm not entirely happy with the look of the lights and that you can sometimes see them on the roof, but it is actually realistic. Like if you look at the Detroit Zoo, as I said, you will see those lights and a lot of different things on the roofs. Like I'm definitely not going into that much detail, but you definitely see what they have on the roofs. Like a lot of those zoos try to resemble seasons and stuff so they also change the lights and they change i think the cold also in the habitats and maybe also snow for example and uh, so yeah there are a lot of zoos with these type of habitats that do have a lot going on on the rooftop so this is actually quite nothing but for me it was like hmm, yeah <laughs> okay it's there it's there but um yeah i might go back to it in the end to see if we can add some some more detailings and and it's right now floating still I didn't really add any more details in because I just really wanted to make sure that the lights work and they are pointed to the right direction because it just looks really amazing. It's making such a difference. I, as I said, I really recommend everyone to play around with this. It's so much fun. And also don't use like the super bright white light. Just go for a little bit more gray because um, it, it, it definitely needs a little bit less brightness uh so, so don't use the the exact white one is my advice if you do this now the only thing that is still missing is fake snow there are a few vfxs in the game with like snow but it's definitely not what i was looking for i was just looking for vfxs with like just simple falling snow and uh, I'm actually surprised that we have not seen that one in Planet Zoo. We do have that in Planet Coaster, unfortunately. But yeah, I uh, can't really uh, get that one in Planet Zoo now. But that is something I was still missing. I think that would be just super cool to have some falling snow in your habitats. Because you do see that in real life in um, penguin habitats uh, sometimes. So that is just super amazing. So yeah, that's something I'm definitely missing. But oh. One more thing I wanted to say, the enrichment item, the bubble machine for the penguins. Oh my god, I added that one too in this habitat. And it looks so adorable with a penguin chick that is like trying to catch some bubbles. It looks absolutely awesome. So definitely put down some bubble machines or just one bubble machine in your penguin habitat. It looks so cute. If you haven't seen it yet, of course, but probably I'm the last one that is trying that one out and you all have seen it already. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really curious what you guys think of this King Penguin Habitat. My very first one, definitely not my last King Penguin Habitat because I am so much enjoying this pack and so much enjoying at least the, uh, the gray seal, the giant otter and the king penguins. They're definitely my favorite three of the five animals that we got in this pack. We're definitely also going to add the terrapin or at least the... Um, exhibits of the terrapin in the aquatic dome i think i want to have some kind of aquarium area as well like obviously we don't we only have one animal but i think we can make something really cool out of that so i'm looking forward to that as well but yeah do let me know what you guys think of this king penguin habitat in the comment section down below leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed subscribe of course if you haven't already and if you want to see more planet zoo content on the channel i definitely got you covered and if you want to support the channel a little extra you may want to consider to become a favorite member with the join button or the link down in the description thank you guys so much for watching and i really hope to see you guys all in the next one bye guys